Hi, welcome to Ride Alongside. Today we have a components from Bingo Components. It's called the B1 and it's a headset spacer. You're gonna love this. I can't believe nobody thought of it sooner. Here we go. All right, so let me show you the problem that many of us face. I know it's not just myself. If you wanna use one of these feed bags on here, uh, traditionally this strap here would go around your handlebars, right? So that's that's kind of easy. It takes up some some room on your handlebars for GPS and lights and other accessories that you might want to run. And then you strap this part here down onto the fork crown, and that's pretty easy to do. And yeah, watch out for cables, and you have to make it the right length, and make sure you have enough excess not too much you don't want it to be flopping around that's the whole point of the uh, strap down here and if you guys haven't used feed bags before uh, trust me when I say that they're probably one of the first bike packing bags you should get for your bike uh, I've tried all of the different bike packing bags really and this one's probably the first besides a maybe a tool roll to carry your tools on a normal ride. But this time of year in beginning of December or late November, sometime in there, these feed bags come into play uh, on my normal rides. And the reason being is that I can put an extra layer in here. I can put my water bottles here and run a frame bag to put uh, coffee outside stuff in, or uh, I can just uh, keep my bottles warm in here because it's insulated. Sometimes my bottles will freeze depending on the temperature, but really you just need to bring extra gear in the uh, colder months because uh, it's a little bit more unpredictable whether you start out early or you uh, stay out late. So then this piece here, uh, there's a couple different spots where you can put it. This one would probably be better suited here, but um, Wrapping it around a small 40 millimeter stem like this Thompson Elite X4 is nearly impossible. I mean, you can you can make it work somehow, but when I'm running two of these feed bags, I mean, that just looks ridiculous. It's right over the top cap, and that's not, a, that's not a, an ideal situation. And when I run two, I often have to run this piece of uh, one wrap through the uh, each loop on each bag and just use one piece and that is just really hard to snug them up correctly to do so. So let me show you this bingo components piece that's made in the US and solves this problem. It's an elegant and simple solution. All right, so this is the package I got from Bingo Components. And first thing off the bat, I love that they have the stamp. They stamp it all over in all the different directions. It looks awesome. It's just a regular envelope, but they stamped it and made it look custom. And that is, uh, that's awesome. It may seem really simple and even kind of stupid to you to waste ink and stuff on, on that. But to me, when I receive this, I go, oh, I know exactly what this is and I'm so stoked that I'm getting this Made in the USA component from this small company. So here we go, greetings from Oregon. So these are made in Oregon, shipped out of Portland. So he says, hey Nick, thanks for your interest in bingo components. I hope you enjoy your B1 and I look forward to your review. If you have any questions for me, please don't hesitate to reach out. My email is brendan at bingocomponents.com. Cheers, bingo. So uh, I really like that. Thanks, Brendan. I um, really appreciate this. Um, so let's see what's in here. We've got like some stickers and we got the B1. So there's a bingo sticker and then this one. Bingo's a giraffe and uh, I guess Brendan decided to use a giraffe named Bingo as his logo. So I love this sticker here. This one's cool too, but I really like the giraffe sticker. So I gotta find a spot on the Sendero maybe to put this Bingo sticker. 
So let's actually get into the components. So here's the packaging. It's nice. It's uh, got retail packaging, right? So uh, bingo components, bike parts made in Oregon. Cool. So this is the B1 headset spacer and it offers that third point of connection for feed bag style handlebar bags. Fits one and eighth steer tubes, five millimeters thick. It's made out of 6061 aluminum. You can get more information at uh, bingocomponents.com. But uh, I really like this because it is just a regular five mil spacer and I've got one up here. So I'm gonna switch that out and it gives you a piece of one wrap in there. So that's pretty cool. But uh, the idea is that you put that in there instead of one of your spacers, whether it's above or below your stem, wherever you need it. And then you got uh, two points of connection for your feed bags. So let's get that on there. All right, here we go. So we've got this bolt loosened. Got my White Industries headset cap. I'll tear open this uh, package here. It's even sealed up in a little Ziploc baggie. That's uh, all of this stuff feels very high quality, very like uh, boutique. You know, these cottage industry brands, I just absolutely adore. I think this is just just awesome. Uh, so that's the, the headset spacer. So take this one off and, you know, there's a comparison between my old headset spacer and this uh, Bingo Components B1. So the top cap back on. All right, so right away I'm seeing that there could potentially be a problem with using it as the top cap or right below your stem. And that is that these uh, spaces here are going to be blocked by your stem a little bit. So let's uh, see how that works. All right, so I just test fit it and you can actually get that up through there, no problem. I have it centered uh, there on the stem. So it should be equal on both sides. And just like that, I can get that on there. And it's real secure right next to my stem to get it nice and tight on there. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it. Man, you don't need much one wrap at all with that B1. That's great. You don't have to wrap it all the way around the stem. So uh, you can use less material there, uh, which is always a good thing to use less. And yeah, that feels real secure. So, um, and I don't even have it wrapped all the way around. I'd wrap it all the way around. And uh, once I cut it and then have that secure. So let's see what that looks like once I get both of these feed bags on there. So I found that it's best, maybe it's not best, but this is what I found out, is to go under towards the Bingo Components B1 five millimeter spacer, and then wrap it over top. And I've got, I don't know, half to a full wrap there. And I can't get it super, super tight up against there. Maybe if I rework it, I could. But it's kind of hard to, there's not much space to work with right here. Yeah, that's, that's just as tight or tighter than uh, it would be with just it wrapping around the stem. So, there we go. Here's a last look at the uh, Bingo B1 headset spacer and how it looks with both bags attached. I love it. What a great idea, Brendan. Excellent job, man. All right, so that is the Bingo Components B1 headset spacer. I hope you guys are excited as much as I am about this product. I really can't believe nobody thought about this sooner. Brendan, genius idea, man. Uh, can't wait to uh, ride with my stem bags everywhere and bring all kinds of gear with me. Uh, water bottles, snacks, extra layers, 
uh, all kinds of things. So I'm Nick from Right Alongside. Thanks so much for watching. We'll have more videos for you real soon.